Hell, welcome back to the Art of Hitting channel. We got a great one for you today. We got two legends, man. Both of them in their 80s. My man Gary Trihorn and Tolls Mihailoff. But two of some of the two of the best players uh, in the country in senior ball. They're going to talk about their uh, successes in hitting and what they think it takes to be uh, a championship hit hitter, in which both of them are very good. Gary's a, uh, both a base hitter and a long ball hitter, and Tolls is a master now, at his okay. base hitting. I got two legends here, Gary Trihorn and Tolls Mihailoff. Uh, and Gary, you're how old? 79. 79. He's going to be 80 next year. 80 next year. Let's just, let's tell now, him yeah. <laughs> Gary's the kind of hitter that goes all over the place with a lot of power. Yesterday, he just bounced one off the wall in the field of dreams. And Toll's here. He's a guy that doesn't hit it more than 250 sometimes, but he's a he's a master. He's a surgeon, we call him. They're both legends. I want to talk to you about timing, technique, and technology, and how does that work. Let's talk about technology first. What... How important is technology? Very important. The bats, the bats that we're using now, with our bodies changing as you get older, you have to adjust to that and adjust to new technology. When I'm playing first base, I'm sometimes scared out there that one or two hoppers coming at you at first base or eat you up. On the on a, on a offense side, I like the technology because I can control it more. I have more control with these newer bats than I do with the older bats. And that's a Suncoast bat you got in your hand, right? Yeah, yeah. What, do you swing Suncoast, Norman? I, 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 uh, no, I'm swinging on Louisville because I got used to it at, at the COVID, the 2020 season. Been swinging it all winter, and I just kept swinging. I got good with it, Okay. I just keep swinging it. And Tolls, what's your position on, on uh, technology? Well, technology, as far as I hit the ball, don't, don't you need jump? You need jump off the bat, right? Yeah, it does. It, it jumps off if it's broken in. If you're down around 150 or 60 on the compression, that's that's fine and that's good for me. The thing that I know about batting is the one thing that you've got to do is keep your eye on the ball. And one of the tools or things that you should try doing is not watching where the ball goes. People say keep your eye on the ball, but try not watching where the ball goes. I'd be surprised if you could do one out of ten like that the first time you try it around. So what you're saying is you want to watch the bat hit the ball. Exactly. Exactly. Very hard to do. And Gary, you yeah. you agree with that too? Hundred percent. I can tell you, I've been and, awful. And, and by the way, Gary's been a pain in my butt every 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 time I pitched against him. This, this guy's he, always whacking the ball. The every guys time. are tough out. We yeah. play now. I, I don't think. No, I worked. I worked all all summer getting ready to hit, hit against you and you moved up to the 80s that's right but hey i hate to tell you he still went four for four yeah. he's a tough out i don't i don't see him make many outs at all really and he and he, you can't play him in short because hey. the guy goes deep that's yeah. i'm lucky okay so the biggest part is i'm lucky I'm well, luck, you, you know what luck you I know how you know trade but i'm also very lucky dude let me yeah. hold on guys hold on i'm i'm the host here so let me get a word in edgewise <laughs> yeah the, you said you're lucky, but luck is defined by when good preparation, when good preparation meets opportunity. Exactly. Who said that? Vince Lombardi. Vincey. Vincey did. Okay, so we did timing, and we did um, technique. Mm -hmm. No, and we did. Other, we did. We did no, we did really technology. Important. Wait a minute, I just lied. We did technology, and we talked a little bit about technique. How's timing come into it? Timing, especially for me, is very important because I'm not, not a strong guy, not like uh, Gary over here, where, who can whack the ball anyway and kind of overpower it when it comes in. Yeah. So that's and it just goes back to watching that ball because that's going to help your timing a great deal. So, yeah. Gary, your position on that? You're the big slugger and a base hitter, so you I'm, change I'm your. I've been a big slugger in, in since I got into '75, so five years. I spent all summer practicing my launch shot. I only did it one time in this tournament so far. It's the last at bat to get your team. Isn't that uh, nice enough? <laughs> so, look, now, it's not ready yet. I'm hitting the warning track. That's a good point. I'm going to talk about, I don't know if you've seen a video out there, but uh, 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 Bogey did an evaluation of my swing, and he uh, he said I was leaving 30% uh, of my power on my swing. Yeah, yeah. And I asked him, when's the last time you were 77? Right. My point is this, Gary, and I think yeah. you just echoed that. When you get to be 75, you got to stop thinking about hitting home runs exactly. because... That's why they make them unlimited. The 75 division has unlimited home runs. 
in major plus. I'm sorry. Why? Because well, nobody hits them. What's the home run again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's one that goes through the, the home other, runs now. The fence, goes under the fence, comes back, <laughs> guy falls down trying to get it. That's the only way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or it shot up the middle all the way yeah. to the fence and yeah. one of these rabbits run around. You know, your, your body not only changes as you get older, it changes, my body changes during a game. Yeah. During a game, I start out in the game real fresh and ready yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah. I end it dragging, so I, I have to change my batting style. What I'm going to do at that, at, in those late innings when we have to, you have to get on base, and that's that's a that's a critical thing. And I think I haven't really written it down or done anything. I just from experience know that when my body's feeling a certain way in the heat, when you're when you've played all day. How do, you, how do I come out and just get on base? That's that's the key. That's, and that's key. what I saw Troll Toll do for years. I saw Mike Dove do it for years. Mike Dove. Just get on base. Just yeah, Toll, on base. Toll's an expert. I call him the surgeon. Yeah, well, <laughs> occasionally. I used to get out there and just swing for the fences all the time. And sometimes I'd hit them and sometimes I miss. But then I started saying that that's not a good way to, to swing. That's that's swing for a home run when you know you're going to hit it, okay. not before. Okay, so let's wrap this up by saying, uh, well, one big question I ask everybody, what do you think about when you get in a box? What's, what's it, I mean, do you think? A lot of guys say, we don't think, we just get up there and, and re relate back to what we did in bat and practice. And when I see a ball, I hit that ball the way I hit it in bat and practice. Well, if you've got your, your, your timing and everything else down, you've got your swing down. The main thing is for me is watching the ball come in all the way. Hit it where it's pitched. Yeah. Thinking should be over when you step in the box. There yeah. you go. Thinking is on the dugout, okay. on, on, the, on deck circle. Once you get in the box, you know where the holes are. Okay. You know who's playing there. So if you're going to go for the, the weaker defensive players, that's that's an already a knowledge. Okay. So once you step in, I like to go from eyes to hand. That's all. Okay. That works the best for me. Now eyes think about it. The minute I put my brain, say, well, I'm going to go this way instead of that way that I was going to go, I get all screwed up. That's understandable. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> one one thing from each one of you guys on the, on the, the key to hitting. Either timing to. <laughs> will you find him? Send him back to me, will you? Go ahead. Well, like I said, my big thing is, is is staying loose up there. Keep your hands loose. Very important. Keep your hands loose and watch that ball all the way in. Okay. You, Gary? Since I'm not very athletic, I've got to do a lot of hitting. I'd probably take a thousand uh, at bats in practice before I have one at bat out here. A thousand and one. I you're, hit every day. You're more than me, too. <laughs> well, I tell you yeah, what. But I don't but, hit a lot. I don't hit a lot at one time. Sixty balls is enough. Then I'm tired out. And you don't hit that at one time, right? Don't you rotate? No, no, I, no, no, no. We do ten. Yeah, ten, we do twenty. Six yeah, times. Okay. Six, seven okay, times. that's great, guys. I want to thank you and uh, good luck in this tournament. All right. Thanks, Thanks Eddie. Yeah. Well, you just heard from two of the most senior players on the circuit. Uh, in the 75 division, uh, both of these guys are – one's going to be 80, Gary's going to be 80, and Tolls is like 81. Uh, both great players, been great players for a long time. Uh, their recommendation was think base hit, not HR. Both of those guys are great base hitters, and Gary used to be a big-time home runner. In fact, last year I seen him hit one about 330 in uh, – Field of Dreams, the center field. Watch the bat hit the ball or the ball hit the bat, whichever you like. Keep your hands relaxed and think in the dugout and on deck and not in the box. But listen, you can think all day about this. Hit subscribe. Help me out. I want to get to 1,000. Send your friends, your enemies, anybody you can think of. Extra sweet. The first few.